So I did an um, undergrad in geography at Middlebury College um, and came out about 2009. <laughs> so not a great time to come out in the job market. Um, and then in about 2012, I went to UW-Madison for a GIS certificate. Um, and that put me a little bit more back in the field of geography. Um, I now work for a software company so that does GIS software and geodetic software. Um, and I'm, my official title is an application specialist, but we're a pretty small company, so I wear a lot of hats there um, in terms of uh, you know, software training and software support. That's kind of where I started, and now I'm moving more into um, kind of product management and um, ideally some research and development kind of stuff. So I've been with the company about four years, and um, I guess as more of kind of the entry level position, a lot of it is um, customer interaction, so uh, email support based stuff um, for GIS problems. Um, we work with a lot of different industries, so engineering, surveying, geology, all sorts of things like that. Um, and so I think that it's important to have a little bit of that broad background to know different things. I mean, we have a team of people with you know, different skills, so we can kind of rely on each other. So that makes also communication really important. Um, and you know, because a lot of it is written stuff, um, you know, all those writing skills as well. Um, now I do um, our software documentation um, and some of our specifications writing for new features. Um, so that's a lot of uh, kind of breaking down academic papers and complex stuff and kind of making it make sense and communicating between the different teams. So between product development, um, you know, sales and customers and I don't know, just all the different parts of the company that um, are behind this product that need to understand what's going on. I definitely chose geography because um, it was so broad. I kind of got to study so many different things. You know, I'm interested in social sciences and humanities a lot, but I also wanted something that had some of that technical background as well. Um, and I think probably because I was 2009 coming out, I kind of fell back on the technical side a little bit, um, just for the employability, I suppose. Um, I think a lot of people did that at the time of wanting like a hard skill for their resume. Um, but I do like the computer stuff a lot um, and the problem solving part of it. Um, so yeah, that's, and I think the, yeah, I, d I definitely had some natural skills in some of the computer software stuff. So especially the, when I worked at Middlebury, I guess it's kind of similar to what a grad student would do. Um, you know, there was a lot of just like prepping data, figuring things out, um, you know, coming up with practice problems, that kind of stuff. That actually directly relates because, um, you know, since we're in kind of the theoretical world as software vendors, we're coming up with a lot of examples, a lot of demos, um, and looking for, you know, interesting data that looks good. <laughs> um, and that relates kind of to what a lot of academics are doing as well, the sort of I don't want to say fake GIS, but you know, a nice easy example um, to illustrate things. Uh, so that definitely relates. Um, I don't know, I think just the thing that um, my work at Wisconsin really taught me was being able to, or have the confidence to know that I could teach myself new technology. Um, I don't think that's something I quite got from undergrad. Um, I've seen undergrad students learn that, and that's awesome, but um, I don't know, it took me a little longer to be like, oh, nobody knows what they're doing and everybody's sort of hacking, figuring things out. And I think especially at that time, um, you know, when the cartography was shifting to the web a lot, a lot of people were teaching each other how to do web stuff because academia hadn't caught up yet. Um, so, yeah, there was that kind of like hacking, you know, coding as geographers. Um, and so that was important skills as well, I think, yeah. Because we get to study so many things, cartography is a great way to learn about design and design concepts and um, user experience design. Um, and I'm kind of constantly trying to push that stuff because um, we are a kind of a small company that doesn't have that as, as its own department. Um, but it's so important to the product. So. I think definitely like interconnectedness and relating the disciplines, right? So other fields that are using geospatial technology um, and the problems that they have kind of across different industries. 
We sell GIS software, so it does a lot of different analysis types. Um, you know, we do, I, I'm kind of always teaching people more about basic remote sensing um, in terms of satellite imagery and how that reflectance works and how you can, you know, learn things about the landscape from that, do different um, kind of band math things. Um, like we do NDVI examples a lot. Um, vector, you know, spatial relationships, spatial querying, um, we definitely do that kind of stuff a lot. Um, just basic attribute management, attribute calculation, um, and then the cartography side. Um, and especially uh, our uh, offices are fairly rural and not everybody that we employ comes from a geography background. Um, so you kind of always have to bring back in the cartography side and the projection stuff um, because you know there's a lot of error <laughs> that can happen um, or you know misunderstanding of how to accurately represent data so that definitely comes up um, and then actually in my professional life is when I started working with LiDAR data we do a lot with LiDAR um, and so certainly the remote sensing background helped with that it's very similar things and especially as we're looking at um, you know new algorithms new technology um, having that remote sensing stuff, you know, helps me understand just the concept of machine learning and stuff like that.